The Monster of Florence is now being uh, turned into a movie. George Clooney is going to produce and star in it. And when I asked my agent, well, who's he going to play? Uh, my agent said, well, he's going to play you, you dolt. I mean, who else would he play? So uh, that was interesting. I do know the family. I got to know them because I had a, a very unpleasant encounter with the same prosecutor who was in charge of the Amanda Knox case. And when I was writing The Monster of Florence with uh, Mario Spezzi, an, an Italian journalist, one day I was just walking down the streets of Florence and my cell phone rang and a voice said, this is the police. We are coming to get you. Where are you right now? And uh, they came and they got me and they hauled me in front of this guy, Giuliano Magnini, who was the same prosecutor as in the Knox case. And he put me through an interrogation very much like the one he did to Amanda. He accused me of being an accessory to murder, of planting uh, false evidence, of obstructing justice and so forth, and demanded that I confess and said if I didn't, he would indict me for perjury and obstruction of justice right there on the spot. And when I said, look, I'm not going to confess to these ridiculous crimes that I didn't commit, he did, in fact, indict me for perjury and obstruction of justice and suggest that I leave the country. And I did the next day. <laughs> Amanda Marie Knox. I don't think it'll have any legal effect because, I mean, after all, who pays attention to a cable television movie? The problem is it poisons the whole atmosphere against her because the film sort of makes it seem like she might be guilty. And, in fact, she's innocent. We've launched a new series based on our on brand new character called Gideon Crew, who is kind of an unusual fellow. He's young, he's a bit sketchy. His morals maybe leave something to be desired, but he's got a heart as big as the ocean. After we finished Gideon's Sword, we sold the manuscript to Paramount Pictures to the producer Michael Bay, who did The Rock and Armageddon. <laughs> He didn't just buy the novel, he bought the entire series. And I guess the idea is that they're going to do like a James Bond-like or Jason Bourne-like series of action movies based on this character, Gideon Crew. So the first novel, Gideon Sword, is only going to be the first in what will hopefully be a long series of, of films.